Well, mm. not bad. <laughs> oh, come on. Look, Suze, look, I could do this stuff. It's, it's easy. Look, you know, I was going to go out there and I was going to show him some of my moves. You know, give him a few pointers and stuff, but, well, look, I'd hate to make Eric look bad. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. True love. Yeah, but it's too bad about his looks, though, huh? <laughs> hey, look, maybe, maybe you want to go get something to eat? Nah, I gotta go. I'll see you later. So? So? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, did you really think the routine was good? I mean, did it work, the form and all that? Yeah, I think you did a really good job. I mean, when my toes pointed and everything when I did it? Yeah, everything was great. I mean, you always look great to me. You did a really good job. Nice. Yeah. Damn developers. They're bugging they, you guys again? Yeah, yeah, they won't stop hassling my mom and dad. Hey, come here. What? Let's just forget it for tonight, OK? Let's not let it spoil all our fun. Okay. The parents are asleep. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside, okay? Okay.
mannequin. This ain't Halloween, pal. Where do you think you're going, huh? <laughs> Midwood, your time has come. No more shopping in the rain, no more trucking. 45 miles to the Southern Mall, no thank you. No more Saturday night, and where are my kids? And on a, a personal note, as a beloved parent, it gives me great personal pleasure to share with you this, our wonderful mall, the new Midwood Mall. Believe me, Mr. Webster, it's perfectly all right. I do understand if you need someone a little more qualified. You can start tomorrow. Here's your uniform. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Webster. You won't be sorry. I'll do a real good job. Thanks a lot. The driving force, the person that is responsible for all of this, the mayor of Midwood, Miss Karen Wilton. Hi, <laughs> Thank you all very much. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was campaigning for the office of mayor of this city, I made you some promises. And today, we see our efforts come to fruition. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally succeeded in putting Midwood on the map. Project will light another section of the mall model. I don't know how she does it. She always looks so perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, phase one. Thank you. Okay, folks. Don't forget, I know some of you have already received your invitations to the Mall Investors 4th of July ceremony. Mark it on your calendar, and we'll see you all there. Thank you very much. Thank you. How you guys doing, huh? They let you handle the food? I promise not to spit in your yogurt. Ugh, oh, I'll pass. She'll have a vanilla buzz. Okay, vanilla. Trail mix. Here you go. Not only what are you gonna have? Um, I think I might have a vanilla <gasps> also. Oh, hey, hey. hey. Hey, here's our extra. Mm, 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 mm. 
Mm. Oh, mm. gross. Mm. We'll share it with you guys. But really, look, there's nothing for three. Buzz off, Buzz. I heard that one before. Skylight over here, you've got four major department stores, 60 clothing stores. Speaking of which, gentlemen, if you're tired of this PR talk, we can stop here. Hello. Can I help you? I'll have a small vanilla, please. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. You enjoying the mall? Oh, it's great. We both start working tomorrow. Ah, great. Now, this is just what I'm talking about. New mall, new jobs. In fact, why don't we get a photograph with the ladies? You don't mind, do you? No, no, no. 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 Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Thanks. That's perfect. Now, if you would like to go downstairs with me, I'll be glad to show you. Hello. Hi. Look, I know this sounds corny, but you look familiar to me. You look familiar, too. That fire last year. I'm the one that took your picture when they brought you in. You have a good memory. That fire happened around here somewhere, didn't it? Yeah, you're standing on it. You know, you were pretty hysterical that night. I remember you kept saying you saw some guy. Yeah, I saw him. And you said he had a medal in his ear? Yeah, some kind of religious symbol. I don't know about you, but that sounds suspicious to me. Yeah. Well, no one ever believed me. No investigation, nothing. Eric was murdered and nobody cared. Wait. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to press you. It's my reporter's instincts getting out of hand again. I'm Peter. Peter Baldwin. I'm Melody Austin. It's nice to meet you, Melody Austin. It's nice to meet you. I am sorry about your boyfriend. Thanks. I guess I'm just not over it yet, that's all. Surprise. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Orchids. I love orchids. What's the matter? <laughs> They're just orchids. You don't understand. Nice flowers. Mel, what's wrong? Buddy, I think it's time for a little talk. What's wrong? Look, I kind of overheard your conversation, you know, yours and Mel's. Oh. I got this special talent called supersonic hearing. I mean, I can listen to one conversation while the whole time I'm, like, involved in another, man. It's weird, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. I'm impressed. Look, anyway, look, I heard you were talking to Melody, right? You got to lay off her. I mean, she's really been through a lot. Why don't you let her tell me that? Nope, nope, absolutely not. You can't borrow my car. No, you already wrecked two this month. Well, thanks a lot, Dad, okay? You know what? I'm just gonna take Mom's car. You little prick. And she and Eric, I mean, they were the perfect couple. You know, they were so in love. And she's just starting to get back to her normal thing, her normal life, you know? So, what do you think? Is it arson? It's me. I think someone dropped the ball in the investigation. Yeah, me too. Hey, hey watch it. <laughs> See that kid? His dad owns this whole mall. Mm. Don't worry, jerks run in their family. I didn't mean to upset her. Oh, don't worry about it. Melody doesn't talk to people she doesn't like.
I knew I shouldn't have eaten that pizza last night. I hope it still fits. Relax, Suze. You look great in everything. Oh, yeah, that's my dear. I think I recognize you. I do, both of you. <laughs> yeah. Now, don't leave it on the floor. You've got to bend over and take it. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, now look at these. They just look right up at you. Oh, yes, my dear. <laughs> All right, here's a new one. Oh, yeah. Come on, take it off. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Now the bra, yes, and the... Oh, don't do that. Oh, man, I thought we were gonna have a show here. He shut that damn thing off. Posner's coming in on five. There's some kind of strange knocking in the G-section ventilation ducts. Check it out. Right, Chief. What the hell are you waiting on, asshole? Go check it out. Hey, man, not now. Come on. It'll go away by itself anyway. Get off your fat ass and go down there and check it out right now. Son of a Susie, look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, but it's expensive. My approach is simple. If you like it, buy it. Besides, you're employed now. I can't. I gotta save my money for college. I gotta save my money for college. I gotta save my money for college. Don't you ever do anything on impulse? No.
Harvey, am I interrupting anything? No, no, come on in. I'm just doing some initial work on my shop rental revenues. This mall is going to be a gold mine. And when I finish with my plans for expansion, there's going to be even bigger bucks. Well, actually, that's what I stopped by to talk to you about, Harv. First, I wanted to congratulate you on a very successful opening. And then I just thought you might be interested to know that there's some talk going on downtown about um, supporting you for the city council. And if things keep going the way they have been around here, I might be persuaded to throw my support behind you, too. Oh, Karen, I, I want you to know that your guidance and support is of the utmost importance to me. I mean that. I mean that sincerely. Gee, Harvey, you sound like you're running for office already. Oh, by the way, can you keep a leash on that son of yours, Justin? I'm getting complaints from the shop owners already. Bye, Harvey. Bye, Karen. Stop by any time. Melody, why can't you admit that you might be just a little attracted to Peter Baldwin? Well, I don't even know him. How can I be attracted to him? Well, he can ask me probing questions anytime. <laughs> he is pretty cute, huh? Uh-huh. You okay getting to your car? Yeah, other than they make me walk to Timbuktu, I'll be fine. Good night, Mel. Bye, Suze. So the only thing that you remember about him is that he walked with a limp. Yeah, and that somebody, I don't know who, shot him in the arm with an arrow. OK. Um, look, I'll take you home, and then I'll report it to the police. I know they're going to want to talk to you. But for tonight, why don't you just try to get some rest? OK.
If I got a scoop for you. No, this can be the big one. Yeah, thanks, Buzz, but I'm looking for Melody. Hey, look, where does she work? Look, that's no problem, pal. All I need is to take a moment out of your valuable schedule just to accompany me. Come on. Uh, do I have a choice? No. Good deal. Let's do it. Okay, now this is unbelievable. One enormous exercise machine, one crossbow, three pillows, one medicine's head, one VCR, two video cameras, one tape recorder, all missing. Well, you look into it and find out what the hell's going on. And Devin, he didn't show up yet this morning. I fired him last night. What? Don't worry, I already hired a replacement. What about the other guy? What guard? Stanley. He worked the night shift. We haven't heard from him since. Another guard? Huh? Nothing. Nothing. I just meant that he probably got himself another job. Right. shoplifters to the fullest extent of the law. I'll catch you later, Chief. God damn it! How many times have I... How many times have I told you not to say... <laughs> yeah, Dad. Too many, Dad. Too many.
Okay, now it's always empty this early, all right? Now, Pete, this is going to be in the headlines. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's hurry up before they oh, come back. Just relax. Here, look, watch. Here, sit down. No. No, no, no. Don't touch that television set. Now, I control the vertical and I control the horizontal, all right? So as soon as they, like, move in, we leave. OK, I promise. OK, now the scoop. Ready? Watch this. Hey, shh, turn that stuff off. Look, it's only in here. The public address system's off. They can't hear us. Listen to what it does to your body. Oh, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, it's real nice, huh? Music is not exactly big news, Buzz. clerks are my friends. I can buy anything I want on credit. Shopping is fun. I like to shop. The sales clerks are my friends. See, it's subliminal. It's under the music. I mean, this is hot stuff, huh? Deceptive, yes. Illegal, no. Ah, too bad. Shopping makes me feel good. Spending money makes me feel good. Shopping is hey, turn fun. that crap off. I like you don't like shop. this, do you? I mean, you're getting I a little irritated here, huh? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll take I'd it. I'd like to spend money. Buzz. Hmm. Come here. Where is this? It's Sam Goody's. It's on the third floor. Why? What's the big deal? I gotta go. Wait. Hey. This is just great. Well, thank you, Buzz.
could just take those papers over to the Excuse municipal. Mayor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're the young man from the paper, aren't you? Right. Look, I'd like to take your picture for a weekend section. You mind? No, not at all. Always glad to oblige the press. Buzz, where's Melody? She's working over at Sluice. What would happen, Pete? Gotta go. Hey, Pete. <sighs> That's great. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, Susan, so just one second. One Hi, second. Buzz. Just, look, okay, okay, got a special today, okay? Got, got free yogurt for an incredibly buxom young woman who gets her picture on the front page of Thursday's paper. Are you free tonight? Thanks, Buzz, but no thanks. <gasps> and I... Nice try, Buzz. Started the fire at Eric's house. Where? Here in the mall. Look, he had the same medal you described to me hanging from his ear. Look, I got a picture of him. I want you to take a look at it once it's developed. And there's something else wrong here, isn't there? Yeah. First the flowers, then yesterday I go to my car and there was something left in my car. It was the same dress that I wanted to buy, but I couldn't afford. Then, right before you came in, I went and I punched some numbers on the jukebox, and this song started playing. So, somebody screwed up the records in the jukebox. No, this was Eric's and my song. Peter, it's like he's still around. I know he's still around. Listen, I saw the way you looked at the flowers yesterday. Brought back some memories, huh? Eric always gave me orchids. It's tough to lose somebody you care about. I'd really like to see that picture when you get it developed. Great. Look, I'll bring it by later. So this man could still be lurking here at the mall. Now, the girl said he wore a black ski mask and he walked with a limp. And then somebody rescued her by shooting him in the arm with an arrow. An arrow? Yeah, well, that should make things easier. Just look for a man dragging an arm and a leg. We'll do our best in that world. Excuse me, ladies. It's time for my break.
Let's just dance. Come on, just for a no, second. But it's so Look, it's so dance. much fun, though. not my best work. No, no, that's okay. It's just, if he's a security guard here, can't we check with the security office? Oh, I already described him in the main office. They said they never heard of him. Oh, come on. You don't believe that, do you? No. Well, maybe this all ties in somehow. I'm gonna call you after work. You call me when you're through and be careful. Peter, thanks a lot for being such a friend. It's been real hard for me to open up with anybody else since Eric. I really loved him a lot. Let me show you something else. How's this? What the hell do you mean my son's hanging around Windsor's? I told that little bastard that the mall was off limits. I, I know, sir, and I was gonna escort him off the premises. But I thought you might want to handle it a little more discreetly. Discreetly, huh? Yeah. I'll discreetly kick his ass out the exit door. Hair all right? See you tomorrow, Sue. Good night, Terry. The store's closed. Oh, that's OK. Well, you have to come back tomorrow. We're open first thing in the morning. You know, I've seen you around a lot lately, and you are looking so good. The store's closed. You know, you are really cute. We could get to be friends. Close friends. I think you better leave. I've got to lock up. Well, maybe you need some convincing, huh? <laughs> my baby, don't be like that. You know, my dad owns this place. Could be helpful for you, you know? You don't have a prayer, asshole. I'm calling security. Come here. Hey. What the hell are you doing in here? I'm looking for a job, Dad. You get the hell out of my mall, and I don't want to see your face until after the opening ceremony. OK, Dad. Teenagers, you know how they are. Yeah. Chip off the old block. But I just want to get a camera. Uh, all right.
I bet you're gonna go spend your whole paycheck on a wild night of passion, right, Sue? Actually, I was just gonna hang out here. It was either that or go home and wash my hair again. Did you have a rough day? No kidding. Look, I gotta go. I'll see ya. Have fun with Peter. Bye, hon. Bye. Hey. Hi, Buzz. How come all the girls that don't want a boyfriend get one and the girls that do don't? Huh? Lots of guys like you, Susie. Not the ones that really matter. I mean, what would this world be if all the people that wanted to buy cars couldn't, and the ones that could had them given to them? That'd be pretty kind of like messed up, huh? Now listen, I've been thinking about this all day, piecing it together, it's starting to make sense. There's only one thing left to find out, and we can do that tonight. I think I know what's going on, I just need to verify some facts. You have to tell me what happened at Eric's house that night. Peter, I can't. I know, it's painful. But if you ever want to get to the bottom of this, you have to tell me what happened. We went to Eric's house that night. It was about 11 o'clock, I think. I remember how all the developers had the houses condemned? Yeah. Well, they left a notice on Eric's door. God, he was so mad. These goddamn developers are really pissing me off. They're still bugging you guys? Yeah, they won't stop passing my mom and dad. Hey, let's not let it spoil our evening, OK? OK. My parents are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> He actually was really sweet that night, though. He gave me orchids, and he played our song. Please, go on. Well, we were, you know, you know. And, and then all of a sudden, it just happened. You smell something? Oh, my God! Eric, be careful! Mom! Dad! when I saw him. dream, you know? Yeah. I think I know what's going on. See if this makes any sense to you. The guard with the earring has got to be the guy that you saw at Eric's house that night. Now he's working here at the mall, and nobody in mall administration seems to know who he is. Somebody is covering up for him. But who? Posner? But why? 
because Eric's family wouldn't move out. They must have hired the guard with the earring to torch Eric's house, the guy you saw that night. But why would he come around now? Peter, what if Eric didn't really die in that fire? It would explain a lot of things. The song on the jukebox, the flowers. Yeah, and the dress in my car. There's one way to prove it. How? We see if Eric's really buried at Walker's Grove. If the grave's empty, we'll know he's alive. Peter, we can't. There's no other way. Forward, you hear me? Yeah, you remember me. We've been friends for a long time. You go first. was Eric tonight. And Mayor Wilton, I know this may sound crazy, but we believe that the house was burned down for the property. We think that Posner's responsible. Now, if that were true, he would be guilty of murder. That's a very heavy accusation. Eric Matthews is still alive. I want to believe you, but this is hard to accept. Well, what can we do? 
find Eric Matthews. God damn you. What do you mean they know? If you had done your job right, we wouldn't be in this mess right now. I'll take care of it. Why don't you just wear a friggin' sign? I did it. So help me God, that's coming off right now. Over my dead body, it's coming off. Okay. Do it tomorrow. Peter, it's me. I just saw Christopher. Melody?
Hey, P. Look, have you seen Melody? No, not since this afternoon. What's going on? I think she might be in trouble. I gotta, I gotta find her. Look, I've got an idea. I gotta go. It really is a good idea. We're relying on this party to impress the investors. I understand. So I think it would be best if security was a little less conspicuous. Yes, sir. Boss, what are you doing here? Listen, we gotta find Melody. She's in some big trouble. Look, I'm sorry, pal. Sorry about the way I look. I always knew you were alive. I knew it. You were watching over me, weren't you? Yeah. Nobody will ever hurt you, Melody. Nobody. I won't allow it. Please don't be afraid. Have you seen Melody? No, not since last night. Why? I think Melody might be in Mayor, some kind of I trouble. I think some people need your attention over here. Please excuse yourself. Um, um, uh, Peter, keep me, keep me posted. Jesus. Buzz, what kind of ridiculous thing are you up to? We gotta get him out of here. I got an idea.
glad that's over. I'm not. Okay, come on, we did now. Let's just get out of here. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, now look. See, there's cameras everywhere. If she's in the mall, we're gonna find her. on the floor. Come on. Let's get out of here. Is this where you've been the whole time? Yeah. No, it's a good place to go to my house. It was place I used to work out, hang out. It was my special place. Well, this is it. Well, well, what's left of it? Let me show you something. Okay, be right here. Let me, let me show you something. for you. Purple was always your favorite color. Put it on for me. I'm sorry, Eric, I can't. I got this for you. I got this off for you. I can't. tear us apart while I respected that vow. I'm sorry, Eric. Things have changed. Come on, she must have. Let's go. Very good. Time to make money. Lots of money. Thank you. Wait, wait, just stop for a second. What? Why don't you just listen to me? Listen, sis. Do you know how assertive you are? Pushy, yeah, so? And what am I? I'm probably best described as elegant, erudite, and eclectic. Loud and obnoxious. Buzz, all we do is fight. 
it's only because we really care. And when I told you that I liked you... It's all right. It's all right. Maybe you even like me a little, sis? no idea where we're going or what we're doing there must be a billion beds that lead to god knows where look sis we're just acting on a hunch all right i mean cops do it all the time let's just great now which way Sure. 
you with me? And as proud as we are of Midwood Mall, it won't be complete until we finish the Midwood Monumental Spire. this one last section lit as a symbol to Midwood of the prosperity we hope this represents for generations to come. so much for your support. Now just keep it up. And we're delighted that you were able to share this momentous occasion with us. Thank you. Have a good time. We better go warn everybody. Well, look, there's Karen. Hi, Karen, what look. happened to you? We've got to evacuate the place. There's a bomb. Now, I can't let you wreck this nice party, can I? Just turn around, head back the way you just came. Look, just come on. Get in here. Go, 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 go. I mean, you know how to drive one of these things. I'm a quick learner. OK, what's this part? OK, this is the ignition. Posner was supposed to take care of this earlier today. Of course, he botched it. You and Posner? Why? Because I'm a major stockholder in this mall. That means major profits. This is my ticket out of here. Now, who do you think covered up for the arson? Posner? Listen, there's still a bomb in this mall. A bomb underneath the mall? Oh, come on. You're going to have to do better than that. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, please don't panic. But the mall must be evacuated immediately due to a bomb threat. Please move calmly and carefully to the nearest exit. The exits are in Sam Goody's, Sluice, Windsor Fashions. The police have been notified. Please move calmly and carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't panic. But the mall must be evacuated immediately due to a bomb threat. Now please, please move wait, calmly don't leave. and this is, carefully. Everything's going to be all right. Exit. This is just publicity stunt. Wait, please. It's a terrible misunderstanding. You holy bastard! I have a lot of money, Eric. I have a lot of money. I'll make a cash settlement with you. Anything. Eric, we can work this out. I have, I have a lot of money, Eric. Eric, I'm really sorry. Look, I may have made some mistakes. I said some bad things. I'll eat my words. This place is gonna blow any second. Get in here.
this town But it's been good enough for me Don't need no frozen yogurt Don't want no GHQ Just want a chance to grow up In the same town where I met you Is there a panel in the mall? My boots and trousers Down where I get my gun Almost everything here Is geared to make me sick Except those boxy outfits They wear at hot dog on a stick Is there a fandom in the mall? Folks are bound to ask Is he a fandom of the mall? Is there a phantom in the mall? 